Hey guys, time for another episode of Market Monday. Now I'm recording this a little bit earlier because I'm traveling to some events. Gonna go check out the Columbus Blue Jackets taking on my Sharks and got invited by Stinger. Gonna hang out with Nasher and Top Shelf Cookie and the boys. So that's gonna be really fun. I'll have a lot of pictures on Twitter and whatnot there. So if you wanna follow me there and check out on the events, I'll be back on Tuesday. So I'm recording this uh, on, on Saturday. However, there are some, there are a few buys that I have found that are pretty insane. Um, they're not going to pertain to everybody, but to a certain portion of the community, these are pretty huge. So, guys, if you enjoy the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel for the most up to date NHL 22 news and info. All right, let's get into today's Market Monday. Okay, so if you've been watching my videos on the 16-bit Heroes event, obviously not all that exciting. The card, the Masters, are pretty much the exact same as the under 22s, so there isn't really anything that's exceptional. I went through the ranking of all of these masters, and like I said, they all have comparisons to the under-22 cards, so there isn't anything that is an absolute must-have. But let's say you did not get any of the masters that were high-end, like Doc or Byfield, Jack Hughes, or any of the defensemen, okay? Let's say that w some of these cards would be in extremely valuable to you. So like Rupe Hints, for example, I don't think he's anything all that crazy. However, if you did not get Byfield or Cousins or Doc, then Rupe Hints, there is a very cheap way to get him all the way up to 92, that is far cheaper than all of the prior events. So I want to break all that down. And again, this is not going to pertain to anyone. If you have a couple of those guys, ignore this, okay? But if you guys want one of these cards, there is an extremely cheap way to do this. And I did the math and I just want to relay that to you because while I don't think that any of them are must-haves, if you do want them, here's how you do it. All right, so in this 16-bit Heroes event, I took a pretty big L on last Market Monday when I said buy up all the 87s and 88s because they're going for so cheap and as overalls get higher, EA is going to require higher overalls per set and making it cheaper to make these. And while I still think that is true, it just won't happen until the next event. So these are all requiring essentially the same overalls, except they added 85s and 84s, and I want to highlight those specifically. So if you go all the way to the end here and go to the collectible sets, you'll see all of the limited time, time ones. So the ones I want you to focus on, again, are the 84s and the 85s. We'll take a look here. The 84 overalls, it requires two 84s to get two collectibles, so basically one each. 84 overall players on PlayStation 5 currently are, you can get some for 6,000 coins. And why is that important? Why is 6,000 uh, a good price? Well, I will explain it to you. If you buy these, all right, to get 36, which is the all the way the upgrade. Let's say you packed an untradeable Rupe Hints, all right, or you got one out of the set. You're, you've got that. You don't know what to do with it. You don't know if you think that you should invest in the coins. 36 of these, which is the total cost to go from the 86 overall to the 92, it's going to cost you 216,000 coins. Now, while I don't think any of these master items are particularly all that great, if you want to do the choice set so you get the card that you want and the 36 all the way up to the finish line, that's 258,000 coins. I would pay 258,000 coins for an untradeable master uh, Branstrom or Rupe Hints, and even Kaprazov. I think at that price point, I would probably just try and save up for the X-Factor Kaprazov and then use power-up collectibles via Hut Champs, but that's a whole other thing. The other way as well, 85 overalls, it only requires 285s, and it will give you three, which is actually an even cheaper buy, all right? So if you do this right now, again, these are going for about 8,500. You're not going to find a ton, but they are dropping to that. So just I want you to pay attention to that. There's abundance of them at 8,500. If you get them for 8,500 to make the choice pack and upgrade all the way to 92, 240,000 coins. Like I said, guys, I don't think any of these master items are particularly all that great. But at 240,000 coins, even if you're going to replace this card eventually in the future for a 92 overall card right now, 100% worth it. Because there's really no valuable way to make the untradeable older ones like the uh, Byfield or Dock because they became much more ex expensive because they're no longer actually the event. It costs quite a bit more. In, in fact, it costs, excuse me, about 300,000 coins 
uh, on just to go from 82 or 86 to 92 on top of another 83,000 just to make the choice set. So you're looking at 400,000 coins to get Byfield, Doc, Hughes, any of them, which I just don't think is worth it. But these ones, like I said, if you want Branstrom, well, I don't think he's very big, and obviously I think that he's going to get surpassed by the very big defenseman at some point. 94 speed is 94 speed, and that is always going to be usable, and the body checking. Like I said, I don't think this is an endgame card. I think you're going to replace him in early February, even late January. But for 240,000 coins, guys, I mean, what are we talking about here? That's a great buy, in my opinion. I think you're okay with it. And at some point, you'll be able to trade in 92s for something, and you know, EA will give you some sort of value. Same with Rupe Hints. Again, I don't think that you should do it with Kuro Kapriza because I would just save up. You, His x Factor is going for about 250-300 right now, and I hope you guys listen to me on my buy or sell because I said, hey, I think the Europeans are going to get highlighted here. I thought it would be in a winter national, international event. That isn't the case, but still, you could have got Kaprizov when I told you to for like 80K, and I know a lot of you did because I saw it in the comments and on Twitch, so... Uh, props to you guys. But yeah, 240,000 coins of these master sets, that's a nice play, 100%, especially if you've got some more untradeable. But yeah, this is it. Another specific card I want you guys to watch out for. And again, if you guys are just watching this and maybe you picked up this video two days after I released it, this is why you need to notify and subscribe with bells on because I guarantee you someone is going to make a ton of coins if you are one of the first ones to watch this. This is Mark Shifley right now, the X Factor. Forgotten about. I've said it numerous times. Mark Shifley is always forgotten about. I don't know why. He's not even selling for 53,000 coins. Now, take away from the fact he hasn't had an upgrade in a while. He's an 87 overall, okay? Mark Shifley is six foot three and has fly the zone, which means he has 90 speed and 88 acceleration. And honestly, if you're good on the draws... You can even use him at center, which is obviously where it would be best because he's six foot three. But 73, that's a little low for some players that aren't very good at the draws. But that being said, guys, here's the secret sauce. On Friday night, they played the New Jersey Devils. He put up four points. He is guaranteed to get a prime time card. And if you want to go and take a look and do your due diligence like I did, again, this is why you need to have notifications on because at 5 p.m. on Monday, there is simply no way that he does not get a primetime card. And if we take a look, the last one he got was an 87, which means he will go to an 88. And as you know, throughout the whole year of X Factors, whenever some card gets a new one, gets a new tier upgrade, they go up in price because people are like, oh my God, he's an 88, now I gotta get him. But if you're smart, you can buy him for like 55,000 coins right now. So I hope you guys paid attention to that. It looks like he is guaranteed to go up. There is an off chance that he gets another 87, but regardless, like he is a very good player, star position for the for the Jets. He is going to move up, and when he does, if he goes up even more speed and gets into the 90s and his acceleration improves as well, in fact, I can guarantee it because his last tier upgrade did not go up in acceleration or speed. So even if it is 0.5, he is going to get on his next upgrade an 89 acceleration and speed with fly the zone. He's got 91. This is going to be an absolute force. So guys, get in on this early. Anything under, honestly, 70K is wild. You should buy it. Now, the last ones are some of just uh, the just certain cards that, again, I think that uh, are, are going to be ignored. But these are ones to actually use. So I, again, I was wrong in the sense that I thought that this event would require 87s and 88s, but if you bought them, don't fret or worry because, again, you got them early and you still even have... I would double down on some of these really cheap ones, in all honesty, because they will require them. There is no way around it. 88s will go into sets in the future, and the next event will be even bigger than this one. I have a feeling it'll be an overall jump, meaning that there will be 93s involved. But uh, just specifically, 40K for some of these 88s, like these are extremely usable cards. Like that's what I wanted to point out. First of all, this 88 Simone Gagne, I actually kind of like even at 40K. He's got distributor, 90 speed. He's got a good shot. For anyone that's a free-to-play team looking for a winger, this he's got good size, good defensive abilities, very well-rounded. He's not going to be extremely quick, but he's, he's not bad and has distributor. And again, he's going for around 40K. I've seen him go for quite a bit under. The other one is, I get, I've mentioned it a couple times, this Akil Thomas. I think he is a perfect centerman, especially with Thief activated. And he's going for like 40K. This would be the one I would prioritize first. But again, even if you're not going to trade him in, Use him for this price. It's a very, very, very good price. All righty, guys. So those are the specific market things I'm looking at this weekend. I hope you guys get in on Shifley. And 
I hope this doesn't influence the 84 and 85 overall market. But again, if you want to make one of those 16-bit hero master items, and even if you wanted to just stack up on them for the next release, remember, we're getting three more master items. If those three master items are bangers, you bet your biscuits that those prices are going to go. That was super lame. Anyways, they will go up in price, all right? So if you want to get ahead, there you go. And if you don't, and the next three master sets are kind of lame, go grab Rupe Hints or Branstrom. All right, guys, that is going to do it for today's video. Let me know what you think in the comments section down below, and I will see you guys next time. Have a good one.